Let's see how to configure and customize your vScan Air system. The left upper button on the app opens a panel to select a preset or go into a system menu by pushing the appropriate tab. The menu starts with configuration options to customize scan-related settings. Display of centerline marker, focus marker, and TGC controls on the image can be turned on or off from here. Please watch the app walkthrough video to learn more about these controls. Auto freeze time can be used to set the time after which the device will go into freeze mode when not being used or when there are no user interface interactions on the screen. You can choose between 1, 2, 3, 5, or 10 minutes. It's important to note that a connected probe continues to use battery even when not actively scanning. Video duration can be used to determine the number of seconds available after freezing the image. It can be set to 1, 2, 3, 5, or 10 seconds, depending on documentation needs. That is also the length of the loop, if stored. The power button on the vScan Air Probe can be configured for additional functionality such as freeze or save. This can be useful to eliminate the need to touch the display device during procedures. If you do not want to use any actions, simply select Off from the power button. The measurement unit can be defaulted to centimeters or millimeters. Preview mode can be activated to explore the app functionality without a connected probe and can be used before registering your device. Scanning is disabled with only selected functions available in this mode. You can go back to scanning mode from the imaging screen at any time if you have a connected probe, enabling access to previously stored patient data. Store binary image data provides an option to save images with additional unprocessed data capabilities. This requires some additional storage space. This binary image data could be of interest when collaborating with GE for more sophisticated image data management opportunities. Acknowledge the on-screen message to confirm enabling this option. Language is defaulted to your mobile device language. To change the language, select Language and then select a specific language. For optimal image visualization, it's important to adjust the brightness of your device for displaying the complete range for grayscale. The image under Display Calibration can be used to adjust the brightness of your device so that the darkest shade disappears into the black background and the brightest should appear bright but not saturated. To establish a communication with configured DICOM servers, specify or update default information under the Device Configuration Settings. Press Save after making any changes. Server Settings is used to configure and add a new image storage server or a DICOM modality worklist server. vScan Air supports image export to DICOM image servers and network shared folders. The available fields for necessary information are updated according to the type of server selected for configuration. A successful connection can be verified by pressing Verify Server before saving the new server details. Access to patient information can be protected by enabling a data access PIN from security settings. Biometric authentication like Face or Touch ID can be activated to replace the need to enter the PIN each time. The section after configuration provides various support tools. User Manual allows you to download and access the vScan Air User Manual in your preferred language. When downloading, the display device should be connected to the Internet. Because iOS devices are only capable of handling a single Wi-Fi connection at a time, the probe would have to be temporarily disconnected if a Wi-Fi network is needed for Internet access. Knowledge Center directs you to a website that hosts tutorials, reference, and educational materials. An internet connection is required to access these reference materials online. Contact Us provides access to a list of GE Healthcare Service contact numbers for different countries. 
The Diagnostics option allows you to run functional tests on the vScan Air and send system logs to GE Healthcare for more detailed remote analysis. Under the About section, you'll find information about your registered devices, app and probe versions, as well as regulatory labels. Under Registered Devices, you can see the connected probe and app on the display device. It's possible to unregister the probe and app from here. Simply go to Register Device and select Unregister. Note that patient data is deleted if the app is unregistered. You will need to confirm a pop-up notification stating this before proceeding with unregistering the app. The Account Information section allows you to access your registered account and make changes if needed. Enter the registered email address and password to connect.